Today we're here at Great America Opening Day here in Santa Clara, California. My name's Michael, and you're watching the premiere episode of Bay Area Attractions. All right, we just made it to the front gates here, and we're gonna enjoy our uh, opening day here at Great America in 2022. Um, the purpose of this town, we're gonna uh, take you to different uh, attractions around the Bay Area, and each week we're gonna do something a little different. So today we're just gonna probably just casual day, we'll just probably walk around the park, we'll probably do a few rides, um, and probably later get something to eat and do a review on food. Alright, Great Burger has a, I think it has a really nice entrance here. You got the fountain here and this great double decker carousel right here in the front. I think it makes, you know, it's a really nice entrance to the park here. I think our first ride here is gonna be the Demon. There's always a fun ride or what. It's got uh, two loops and a corkscrew or what. So we're gonna uh, go here on the Demon. We just got off the demon. That was a lot of fun. Really enjoy that ride or what. So um, we're just gonna walk around. We'll see what, um, what ride we'll go on next. All right, <laughs> lunchtime. I know we haven't been here long. Or what, the park didn't open until 11 or what, so it's about noon or so. So um, we're gonna get a little lunch there. We're gonna go over to Maggie Brown's uh, fried chicken, which is known for their fried chicken. So we're gonna go check that out. See, I got my fried chicken with uh, some cornbread some mashed potatoes, so I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy a, a little fried chicken lunch here. All right, we just finished our uh, lunch here at Maggie Brown's or what? The fried chicken was really good, it was really nice. The boys were in the cornbread was really good, same with the mashed potatoes, so I think for now we're just gonna maybe just take a little walk around the park or what, um, before we go on anything else. All right, we're gonna try this ride over here and see the mass effect or what. Uh, not familiar with this. Um, Years ago, when Paramount owned this, this was actually used to be Days of Thunder or what, but um, obviously they have changed it to something else. So we're gonna go check it out. Okay, we just got done. But that's kind of a ride, it's a ride simulator. You're, you're kind of in the spaceship that goes to another planet. Of course, things go wrong or what. It's a 4D because they have some few times where like some smells come in and the seats like vibrate and stuff that. Um, but that's pretty much it. It was all right. Alright, we're coming into one of my favorite areas and I'm a little partial to this, uh, which is Orleans Place. And the reason for that is, um, back in the early 90s I actually worked at Great America uh, for a couple of years or what. So this is the area I worked on. Um, in fact, this is where I met my wife, Leilani, here. Or, uh, we worked together here. Had a, had a lot of great memories in the, those couple of summers we worked here together. Right, one of the rides we worked on right here in Orleans is Orbit, which it looks like um, they have it down. In fact, there's not much left to it. I'll show you in a second one, but that's what it says. I love it. It's like that kind of retro 50s uh, sci-fi sign. It's pretty cool. All right, one of the other rides we worked on is Rapids right here, but also this ride is is down. It looks like they're probably doing some renovations and stuff on this. I'm sorry, I am trying to talk a little bit loud so you can hear me in too. They got some music playing in the background and I'm just, uh, it's copyrighted music. It's like a 50s music, so I just don't want to get, um, YouTube will dig you, ding you for uh, copyright music or what. So that's why I'm kind of talking, hopefully drown some of that music out. One of the other rides I worked on was this one, but at the days, when I worked here, Paramount Pictures owned the park. It was actually called Top Gun. I actually was one of the first crews to work on this ride when it opened. And one of the fun things was this ride opened about a half an hour before the park did. So usually the park opened at 10, the ride was open about 9.30. So around 9, 9.15, mechanics would come, test this ride out one more time. Or what, and then they're like, hey, you guys want to ride? 
of course we all hopped onto it so all summer long we rode that ride so i've probably been on this ride probably like over 100 200 times or what but it's still a great ride all right behind me is delta fly this is another ride i worked on or what uh, <laughs> a lot of great summers working on this ride um leilani and i used to joke that when we went on our honeymoon we would take uh delta for our honeymoon and guess what we actually did it was by accident just when we booked with our travel agent for our honeymoon to Walt disney world um, they ended up booking uh delta it just happened that way but uh it was kind of funny how 10 years uh, before that, we kind of predicted that. All right, the last ride we worked on in Orleans Place um, that was here when we worked here was Rula Dodge, another ride uh, we worked on all summer. All right, I think we're going to go on uh, Sky Tower here. We're going to get a pretty good view of the park. on Eagles flight for actually the third time or what uh, early I was trying to go on it went down um, I came back it was still down just tried again it was in line probably maybe like five minutes and the ride stopped it's going now but I think after it stops what they have to do is get those people off and then cycle a ride a couple of times um, so I really wanted to get some good views of the park for you but I don't really be able to do that 
today, so all right, that's just the right result because I guess scored. I saw something. Looks like they're still running uh, with two players, so we're actually now <laughs> um, in release place a Delta Flyer, which makes the same ride. They just call it different, uh, have a different name in each area or what. So I think we're gonna get in line. Hopefully, we'll uh, get to go for a ride. They're probably tested or what, so maybe I'll be open. Maybe they haven't opened it because it's still a little chilly. It's only a peak of high of like 65 or so today. with the Skyway different than the Sky Towers, at least you get to um, go through the middle of the park so you get some pretty good views. There's South Bay Shores or what, I believe that's open at the end of March, so probably I think in a couple of weeks, uh, I think when the weather gets warmer. That'll be a, pretty sure in the summer when it gets hot, <laughs> that's gonna be a very popular uh, a place to hang out. I know, I believe right there would be, um, for those of you might remember, there was a ride called Revolution. It was a boat and then it swung um, upside down or what I believe is right in this area. Here it looks like they have uh, taken that right out. I'm not sure when. I haven't been to the park for a few years. So I'm not sure when uh, when they did that obviously when COVID the parks were sitting down for a while. No. Towers down. I walked by before they took that all the seats taken out, so I'm not sure uh, what they're doing there. All right, well, I'm coming to the station, so I'm gonna. Okay, just got done with our, with our ride on uh, Delta Flyer there, or what? Finally, after about the third time, we made it the honor. Good to kind of also relax and uh, just see the park. Uh, from above. All right, guys, I'm um, gonna hit one more ride. We're gonna do the carousel. Here, we're gonna go up on the upper deck of the Columbia.
day here at Great America. But it's kind of fun to be back to the park. It's been like it's a few years since I've been here. Um, just kind of enjoyed uh, seeing the park again, seeing a few some changes. And obviously we'll be back for uh, some special events throughout the year and just checking the park out again. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more Bay Area attractions, please subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Um, and we'll hope to see you next week for another episode of Bay Area Attractions.